Hey you guys, today I am going to just do a straight up walkthrough um, of my Notion account and I'm going to show you specifically how I use it for my business. Um, I have my YouTube channel, my blog, and then I send out newsletters and I also have some courses. So Notion has kind of become my main hub. I used to have all this stuff in Google Drive, um, but I've since switched it all over. So I'm just going to walk you through this. If you want tutorials on how to like set some of this stuff up, let me know specifically. Um, or if you want any templates for some of this stuff, let me know in the comments because I'm more than happy to make some. Um, but mostly, this is just to give you some inspiration on how to set yours up. Um, I'll put some a link down in the description box to some other YouTubers that talk about Notion, um, and some of them have more like in-depth tutorials, but this is going to be strictly a walkthrough. So let's jump right into this. So I have my business workspace. Um, this is, houses all of my items here, and then I also have my verse by verse series. This is my Bible study series um, where I post the public notes, and then I also have templates already. So I'll be sure to link this down in the description box. I only have four templates right now, but I am working on making more um, just kind of as I do these videos and as people request them. So my business hub page kind of looks like this. These are my main ones that I use. I just added some photos to split it up. Um, and then I also have some like side stuff that I do. Sometimes I do Squarespace design still. Um, so I have that pricing guide. I have all of my graphics in here, all of my um, like media files and my uh, fonts and things that I use. And then in each one of these, I'm going to just kind of go through them real quick. This first one is the big one. This is all of my content. So my husband and I sat down and planned content for an entire year. Um, blog posts and videos. There are some days that we didn't actually plan content on, mostly towards the end of the year, but for the most part, we planned an entire year's worth of content. So all of that lives in Notion, and I also plan it in Notion. So this is just the overall calendar, but I have it split up between a few different things. Um, first, I have all of my published content, so we'll look at this just because it's a good um, overview. But from the 1st of January, um, I have all of my content in here, and how I basically do that is I have my different sections and then I have all of the details in here of um, the entire blog post or the entire video plan and I just work straight out of here so I'll show you for example this video or not this video but a video coming up um, we'll do the Esther Bible study so basically this is in the section videos I have um, videos blog posts templates and tasks um, it's going to be posted on February 28th. I have my graphic in here so that way I can quickly download it when I'm uploading this to YouTube. Um, line one and line two, that's what's on my graphic. My husband makes the graphics for me so I just write out what I want him to put. We also have a social media post. Right now we're not really posting these to social media but I wanted to just start doing this um, now so that way if we ever wanted to go back and start like doing tweets on all of our old posts and stuff, we kind of have a starting point. Um, if there's a sponsor, then that will be linked here. I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. And then the status, um, I already have this filmed, but I need to edit, schedule, publish, and then complete it. Um, then I have kind of my checklist here. I I'm not great about the checklists anymore. Honestly, I don't use this as much as when I first started. Um, I transferred all this data over from Asana, so that's why there's checklists in here. Um, I'm kind of using up the last of these, but I'm not really too concerned with that. What I am really focusing on is the notes. So especially for my Bible study series, um, I write out the notes of every single verse I'm going to talk about, and I also do study questions. So those are all written in here, and then I also write the video description with all the links and everything necessary. Um, so that way, as I'm uploading the video to YouTube, I have everything I need literally in this post. Um, and then when I'm done, and once it's scheduled and ready, completely ready to go, I either mark it as published, completed, or scheduled. All of those basically mean the same thing, um, and it marks it as complete, which then moves it into my published blog posts. And you can do that by just choosing which properties you want to see, setting filters to only see certain things, um, and then sorting them according to the date. So you can see I have all of these posts in here all the way through December 25th, 2020. 
Um, not all of these stay the same. Some of them evolve and change over the years. Sometimes I get rid of something and add something new in. Um, but this has worked really, really well for us. We also have all of our blog posts in here. And same thing, um, I have my graphic for the blog post already in here. Um, I use a subtitle for blog posts as well. And that's kind of like what I use on the little blurb for my blog. Um, I have my check boxes and then I write the actual blog post out in here. And again, I just use my status. This is right now outlined. I actually have most of it drafted, but it's not done. Once I'm done with a section, that's when I choose that. Um, and then you can see I have, you can kind of see all of the stuff in these sections. Um, so yeah, that's my content plans. That's kind of how we use that. Accounting, um, we don't really use this. This was just something that we need for this year, so we popped it in here. Administrative, these are tasks that aren't a blog post, um, don't really need to be on the calendar, but are like projects that we want to do long term. So like adding transcripts to my videos, um, we're going to look into a service to do that for us because it's very time consuming. Um, and it's not something that's on our front burner right now, but it's something that we would like to do. Um, this is actually done. Um, but yeah, I have just a bunch of stuff in here that's kind of like back burner projects, but if I'm feeling like not doing content and I want to do something like this, I can hop into my administrative tasks and get some of these done. Um, the archives is another kind of project that's on the back burner. We're going through and slowly updating some old blog posts. A lot of them are deleting because they're not relevant or they were just really terribly written posts, especially the ones like way back in 2014. Most of these don't actually exist anymore. Um, but we're slowly updating them, adding links if we need to, and then republishing them if we need to. Um, this is a project that's definitely on the back burner, but we have the entire archives up through July of 2018 in here um, ready to kind of be worked on. Um, budget, I'm not even going to bother showing you because right now that is a mess and we have to redo it. Um, collaborations. I have a couple sub pages in here. Um, these are just where I keep track of all of my affiliate programs. I do sign up for a lot of affiliates. If I use a tool, I usually find out if they have an affiliate program. Because um, if I'm going to suggest it to people, I might as well get a little bit of kickback from that. Um, I also have a list of people that I would love to collaborate with one day. Um, I keep that list partially because it helps me keep my goals in check. Like, it's not just about the numbers. It's about, like, the community and being able to work with people that I want to. Um, so I keep that just kind of as motivation. And it's just fun to think about, like, who I'd love to work with and whose content really inspires me. Um, we used to do guest bloggers on the website. We don't do that anymore. But I kept my list because I do like to keep up with those people and just you know, email once in a while and read their blogs and just see what they're up to. Um, we do have a log of all of the guest posts that have ever been posted on the site. And then I still, I saved the workflow for like how we would go about getting guest posts and posting them and getting them ready. Um, just in case we ever want to do that again, at least we're not starting from zero. Course content is exactly what it sounds like. Um, I saved all of the content that I have on Podia um, into Notion as well, just so I have a backup. Podia is awesome. I trust them with my content 100%, but I'm a freak and I save everything everywhere. So um, I have it in Notion as well. Newsletters. I finally started my newsletter list back up again. Um, so this was the one that I already sent. And then this is one that I'm going to be sending out this month. If you're curious, you can sign up for my newsletter at noraconrad.com. Um, but I just post or I just email everyone about once a month, usually with just like something I'm learning or just kind of talking about whatever. Um, but someday my goal is to instead of doing newsletters, just maybe do like a Patreon account and post that kind of content there. Um, but I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet. Notes and inspiration is kind of like my business journal. Um, I keep like a list of content ideas. Um, there's just like little journal entries, basically kind of just brain dumps of how I'm feeling um, that's business related. I also have a lot of book notes um, about some really good like business books that I've read. Um, and I have some really old um, notes like from the first 1K webinar. Um, remember when webinars were a huge thing? Yeah, loved those. So some of these are super, super old. Um, but I just keep some notes in here. 
projects. Um, like I said, I do do some website design every once in a while for like close family and friends. I don't do it like for just anyone anymore, but this is where I house all those projects for that kind of stuff. Um, in here, social media, like I said, we're not really doing social media. Um, but I do have all my old like quotes that I used to post to Twitter. Um, there's like literally hundreds and hundreds in here. So I just saved them cause I didn't want to like start from scratch if we had to do that again or wanted to. Um, this is my sponsors page. I've only worked with one sponsor so far. You guys will see that in an upcoming video if it's not posted already. Um, but I've decided to start doing some sponsors. I want to take my business a little more seriously and actually like make some kind of income from it that can help us, you know, pay off debt, reach our goals, buy a house someday. So we're starting to take some sponsors. Um, so far I'm really picky and I found one whole person to work with. <laughs> so that's where I house like all of their information. Um, and then it's related to the content. So this is from my how to do a reset day video. Um, so I have these linked together so that we can, um, do it that way. And then I have my goals here. Um, so these are my goals just for my like business numbers specifically. This has nothing to do with anything other than income and following um, counts. And the reason for that is because as much as I really just want my business to be something fun and something that I enjoy doing, at the same time this year we decided that I do want to take it more seriously and you know actually make some income from it. So we set up some goals of like where we want to be, what we want to hit, and if we miss them by a little bit, no big deal. But if we're not at our goals by the end of the year, then this will become more hobby based. Um, I've decided to kind of give this one kick for this year, see how I do, see if I enjoy it, see if I make enough money for it to be worth the time and effort that goes actually into all of this. Um, and this is just going to kind of help us justify either continuing or stopping this. So those are my goals. Workflows. Um, I haven't imported all of these yet from my old Asana account, but we had workflows basically on how to do everything. And then retired content is stuff that I had from way back when. Some of these are from like 2010. Um, but it's either like old interviews or old products I sold or whatever. So yeah, you guys, that is it. That is all of my business notion. Um, my husband has access to these workspaces also. So he gets in here and does stuff as well, especially when it comes to content. He helps me edit and plan all this stuff. Um, so he's in here pretty often as well. Um, but Notion is just an awesome tool, you guys. I'm really, really enjoying it and loving using it for this. Um, it has replaced Asana. It's replaced Todoist. It's um, replaced Evernote for me. It's replaced, for the most part, Google Drive, um, besides just a couple personal things that we're keeping in there. But this has been like my main hub lately, and I am just absolutely loving it. So that is it, you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you want to see any templates or any like breakdowns on how to actually build some of this stuff um, down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.